Right, today I'm going to show you my retro um, computer that I built out of our parts. It's So let's turn it on first of all. Let's have a look. Now as you can see it's Pentium 2 at 300 megahertz. The memory is 64 megabytes of RAM. It's a SD RAM PC100. I'll put a DVD drive in there just for good measure. I oh, know that's not very retro. But. So we can see we've got MS DOS 7.10 installed on the um, 2 gig, gig hard drive. So I've also put in a ISA based LAN card. Um, that's C3 com F link 3. So I've got Windows 3.11 for it, so I'm going to show you the internet in Windows 3.11. Now, I haven't got a compatible, as far as I know, compatible video card for Windows 3.1 to show anything higher than 16 colours by 640 by 480. Well, we, yeah. I have to ignore that error, that's when I try to um, install the Sandblaster card. Um, I'll show you. This beast. That's when I tried to install that and I failed somewhere. It's not the easiest of things to do, installing drivers in 3.11. So if you just press OK, I have to wait a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry, for the network to initiate. We have the log on screen for Windows 3.1. So we are now presented with Program Manager. I'm going to click it. It is Windows 3.1 as we know. There's your all your icons. Your nice little control panel. So you bet the radical colour script scheme. I might just change that now. I don't like it myself actually. That was on Ocean. It's hard to use this mouse because it's an old serial mouse, it's a ball mouse, it's not a laser mouse, just to add to the retro. Well, that's a little bit better. Right. So, before you can get your internet working, well, the Internet Explorer working on your Windows 3.11, you must download and install a Microsoft TCP IP stack or protocol. Um, you install the protocol via the network setup and as you can see there's my network card and there it is. That doesn't come as standard with Windows 11 so you must download that. You can find it in the Microsoft Download Centre should you want to try it yourself. So, so once you've installed it you should have all these four options, um, four new icons. You've got your Telnet which is like a terminal. FTP and stuff. But after you've done that, you must download and install Internet Explorer 5.4.3.1. Note the fact you'll have to do this on a different computer, both the TCP and the um, Windows Internet Explorer for 3.1 or 3.11 because you can't download until you've actually got both of these on the computer. And you won't not be able to use any USB pens to do this either because Windows 3.11 does not support flash drives. So you have to do it either by CD-ROM or some sort of file transfer through the network. So once you've got that one, we can load it up. So here we go. Um, it's took me to the home page of Cinetech, Cinetech which used to run well as you can see, now we've got Google, sorry about, you can see the colours are poor because like I said earlier you can't get the um, VGA, I haven't got any, well it's actually got an Nvidia card in there at the moment because I couldn't find any um, older cards that I have, I might buy one off eBay sometime in the future. So let's have a look at the picture. Now 
functioning internet. If I had the graphics to support a better resolution and better colours it would be very nice. So this is the internet on a 300 megahertz Pentium 2 with 64 megabytes of RAM and Windows 3.11. Um, I'll click on that to stop from doing that. So as you can see, the Yahoo won't let me in because yeah, I'm using an unsupported browser because this is a very old browser, of 2012, it's version 5. The cipher strength is only 40 bit, so copyright 95 to 99. Now, I wonder if I can find any games. 16 bit games for the 16 bit windows. A few games here. Let's try Missile Command. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never tried it before. Can I download it? That's the question. Oh, Let's try that one. As you see, it's not showing many screenshots. That could be something to do with the new JPEG format or BMP or something. I'm not quite sure. Boy, it's letting me down out there. So, well, I'll just put that in the C drive for now. But just in the room, so I haven't made a file there. Windows 3.1. Well, it's a zip file, so I'm going to need WinZip. That will work. I think the best thing to do is to go to our version. I'm doing this on the fly so I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. It seems to be it seems to be Maybe I can do that. Mess it up a bit. I'm just going to control that and delete this. this one a bit. Good old. DOS based link, try and close that application. Try launch it again. No, oh, it's going to refuse to launch for me again now, isn't it? With my sound blaster, I think I had a conflict with the um, the network card. This uh, motherboard is actually a PCI Buzz. It's not all that ISA, so it had a few problems. 